uh, going to find his phone so I can monitor comments because he can probably assemble this on his own. I don't know. So we finally got our curtains back up. If you've been following us, we've been remodeling and redecorating our house. We've got our drop cloth curtains up and we've painted all the walls in here. I'll give you a little tour that direction. There's my church pew. Zeb's gonna be building a table. It'll fill in that empty spot there. And then there's the kitchen. And you guys, we'll show you a close up later, but you can probably see my brand new Ikea faucet has been put in. I love it. It made me super excited. It's funny how you do all this remodeling and uh, a faucet's what really gets you excited, but it is awesome. All right. All right, let's break into this couch. Vanessa says hi, Dennis says hi, April says it's beautiful, thank you. We are really enjoying our new space. It smells like bleach in here right now because Jamie bleached all the curtains. Yeah, I bleached my drop cloth, so it smells like bleach. I'm gonna poke that up just a little bit. Our Ruana wants me to shout him out. I don't know what that means, but I said your name, so hopefully that's it. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. We are really loving it. And if you guys uh, are just tuning oh, in, we'll, we'll give you a little, bit, oh, a little bit of a tour in a little bit. So this, this sofa is the Ikea sofa. It's the Ektorp. Oh, it's Deborah. Her hubby is Deborah. Okay. Hi, Deborah. I have a sister named Deborah. Um, and Deb didn't realize this, but the Ikea sofa has to be assembled. We've never assembled a sofa before. Well, it's gonna be a breeze. We've taken apart sofas and recovered them. We've all, this is only the second new sofa we've ever bought. We actually don't buy a lot of new furniture, period. We had a bunch of different sofas, but they've always been used. The last one we bought new, and we just sold it, and we, so we used that money. Here, bring us in closer, Jamie. Oh, Zeb says to bring him in closer. Comes with this saran wrapped bag of goodies. Well, not that much closer, but Well, like, closer, uh, you said closer. closer. Right there is better. There we go. Okay. <laughs> here, you might not be able to lounge on the chair. You might have to come sit That's okay. Here. They can see me. I'm over here on the side. All right. So I came with this huge bag of saran wrap goodies. I'm assuming this is all the stuff that I need, just in case they don't supply the wrenches, since it's, you know, Bill an says Ikea. this is a cardboard fort for the kids. You better bet yeah. this is a giant boat. Jack was making me um, draw pirate ships today. If you follow our Instagram, <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, go to my Insta stories and you can see uh, Jack describe his pirate ship. It's under Jamie Ray Vintage, but I can guarantee you that tomorrow, this box is gonna be a pirate ship. So I see some tools in here that they've given me, but I have my metric wrenches handy, and just in case. And it comes with those weird plastic feet. <laughs> Zeb will probably be adding some really cute feet possibly here in the future. All right, so get this thing unboxed. This is the side, this is the arms. They've got Here's the directions, you're gonna need those. Ah, uh, do I? Yeah. Do I need Lily those? says she was just gonna ask about the sofa. Yeah, we bought the sofa, what, yesterday? Do I need the directions though? <laughs> I don't think I've used the directions more than once or we twice. We couldn't to put fit the sofa together. in our SUV because we had Jack in there, so Zeb single-handedly took the entire sofa, lifted it over his head, but it's really heavy, and he put it on top of our GMC Acadia and then strapped it down, and that's how we got it home. Oh, this is this is really I'm throwing those over there because this is hinged. Here, come on, Jamie, fly us over here. Oh, you guys. Come on, camera girl. Hinged. Sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> All right. So I don't, they, no, you're gonna have to bring the camera over. Oh, you want me to bring the camera over? Yeah, bring over. the whole thing on over. Here, I can do it. So it's in the box and it's got the sides detached. It looks like that's about all I'm gonna have to bolt together. This thing here is just hinged. And once you bolt the sides on, that holds it up. And it's got these hinges here. And then, does it have a cushion? Probably underneath here is a cushion. All right. Okay, All right. the camera's at. So where am I going now? Am I good? All right, I'm taking you guys back. Somebody asked me if you could use the yep. drop cloth curtains over sliding glass door. Absolutely. Woo, that's loud. I'll show you. This is our sliding glass door. And we, during the day, the curtains live like this. I open them up. And then the kids can just go in and out the sliding glass door. Absolutely. I hate vertical lines. We used to have them, and we started, before I even had drop cloth curtains, I had a curtain over my sliding glass door because I hate, hate, hate vertical lines. So this is a great option, really inexpensive. We have a video on how we did that entire 
set up if you need it. Oops, let's see monitoring comments. Right, the phone the see, is the wrong direction. Yeah, are you still showing? <laughs> Am I still showing still what? Showing the curtains. Oh, I'm done here. showing the curtains. All right, back to what Zeb's doing. So these are all like compression sealed in here with a vacuum. We'll have to get those out. But this is the whole thing right here, minus putting the feet on and the arms. Oh, Lisa says she doesn't have an Ikea near her. I oh. shouldn't tell you, our, our Ikea is like two exits up from our house. That's why I'm there all the time. I go to Ikea probably once a month. And when I'm doing a decorating project, I go like twice a week. Because Ikea is literally like 10 minutes from our house. And Jack likes to play. In fact, yesterday when we went, Jack had preschool, but it got canceled. So we told him he was going to Ikea school, and he was pretty excited about that. All right. So that uh, goes there. Let's see. Oh, Jenny says, are you doing anything to the church pew? She's waiting. Did you not see the church pew? It's actually already done. Hold on. Wait for it. Do you see? We did a live, but it was on another feed. Yeah, we DIY's did. Channel. So when we started that, we did... Um, uh, spray paint and then we did the DIY paint and then milk paint and we did a live on the DIY retailer page so if you follow me on social media like Instagram is the best way to get behind the behind the scenes because Instagram I post everything that I'm doing all day long maybe more than you really care to know but yeah so the pew is already done um, if you go to on Facebook if you go to the DIY paint page Zeb and I were live last Friday? Last Friday. So scroll mm -hmm. down and you can watch us doing that pew. But that pew is all ready to go. Zeb just has to build the table. I got the throne and stuff and I lost all of the nuts and bolts. Found them. Found them. Al Alexa says she has an Ektorp sofa and it's her favorite. So easy to put together. And Lisa says she likes the meatballs. We love the meatballs. In fact, I love to take the meatballs and throw them in my um, slow cooker with some brown gravy mix and then just let it sit for a few hours and then you're good to go for dinner. Hey, can you adjust it so my face is not hiding? Oh, you want, you want to see your pretty face? There we go. <laughs> no, not really. You're doing all the hard work and I'm just yakking. That's what your job is. That's what your job is tonight. <laughs> oh, so KS said she did her first paint drip project. Thanks for the inspiration. That's awesome. That's so fun. I have How did had... it turn out? Did you like it? Yeah. Send it. If you want to send me pictures, go on Facebook and PM me on my business page because I'd love to see pictures. Um, so Tina says she loves the Ektor couch. They last forever. And she's on her third color and slip covers. Zeb said I'm only allowed to have one new slip cover per quarter. So that's Each four season. a year. I'm just but, screwing the feet in. They're real simple. They just have holes in here that are threaded. And I'm just screwing those in right now if you guys can't see. Because it's kind of hidden back here. But I think I'm, I think I'm going to just do uh, white for a long time. I don't think I'm going to be changing out color. Well, well see, the plus, white's nice because you can bleach it. Yeah, and you can use a little bite. The tip that I heard was if it gets dirty, just use a bleach pen and if you don't feel like taking it off. But I'm not, I haven't decided I might get one more couch for up here and get rid of that chair. Or I might keep this couch in this chair or I might do this couch in two chairs. I haven't decided. When you guys decorate, do you do it all at once or do you do it, do you do it like a little bit at a time? I'm kind of a layer. Like I like to try one thing and if it looks good, then I try something else. I think it's because I'm not like really that good at decorating, so it takes me a minute. Okay, so it looks like... Easiest... Call me out again. My name is Rudy. Hey, Rudy. All right. Um, I have the white slip cover. I'm going... So in, I'm thinking in the basement, I'm going to do the sectional. And I'm going to do the gray because the basement is the kid's domain. So I didn't look at the direction, but I'm pretty sure that this will work. <laughs> he didn't read the directions, but he's pretty I... sure this will work. Lily asked where our dining table is going. Lily, do you see where that church pew is? That is where the dining table is going. That's our dining room right there. So it's going to go in there. It doesn't look super big because it's got that giant box in it, but we can fit like a seven. We can fit like a seven foot table in there. Yep. We had an eight foot and it was kind of crowded. So I'm going to do like seven and a half feet. All right. Back to what Zeb's doing. He's got the legs screwed on. He still has yet to follow the direction. This looks... You know, this is actually, okay, you guys want to hear something serious? I just, the couch that I just had was the Down East Victoria couch. We paid, we got it on sale for like $700, I think, and it was regularly 1000 
and we had it for six months. We went to Hawaii and we came back from Hawaii. It was broken on the bottom. It had like MD, like the what's plywood on the bottom. Thin, plywood too. thin, thin, thin plywood. And Zeb had to rebuild the entire frame. In fact, we showed the people that bought it how he had rebuilt it. This is so much better made. Yeah, it's stronger and got metal even with, in it. Even with the MDF sides, these, this, there was no two by fours in that thousand dollar couch. So this Ikea couch without the slip covers, $350. This Ikea couch is better made than that one. This one has plastic feet, the other one has wood, but it's no big deal. Okay, so I missed a step. I should have looked at the directions. <laughs> you should have looked at the directions. What are you doing? Really, I just have to put these in here is all. I needed to do this before I arranged it on there. So. Debbie says that she just got back from Ikea and she wants to know if she should attempt to put her wardrobe together by herself. Debbie, you want to FaceTime us? We can help you. <laughs> or we can go live on Facebook. That would be funny, like the two of us. But seriously, Debbie, if you need help, just call me. You got my number. We'll help you put it together. Or we'll just take a trip to San Diego. I could do some beach. <laughs> <laughs> should have called us when you needed to move. It was, we were due. Oh, except for your knee. Zeb's knee went out after the floors. Like Sunday, I literally had to pick all. We won't tell you how much he weighs, but I had to pick him up and get him on the bed. I didn't do it. Uh, I'm getting old. I can't kneel on my knees for six hours straight anymore without knee pads. <laughs> Debbie wants it done now. She can't wait for us to come. Well, then, yeah, you can put it together. I'm sure you can. Or meet some new neighbors. You have any cute new neighbors? Hmm? Um, what's the model name of the couch? This is the Ektorp couch. And uh, somebody asked me, Deb, don't let me forget before we're done. Um, Jenny wants to see an up close of the pew. So I will do that. I will also show you an up close of my Ikea faucet because I'm kind of in Don't get too it. close. There's dishes in there. Yeah. And we haven't cleaned the paint out of the sink. That's tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. The kitchen remodel is still happening. Lisa was thinking the same things about you changing the feet. Yeah. So I want... You can't really see them with a slip cover, but here's my idea to raise the couch up a little bit. I'm going to have them do like a square and then do a cute little turn leg and then do it to about there. I don't know when he's going to have time for it, but. Oh, you know, whatever. Okay. So now that I got that on, there's two washers. They go on these screws that I just put in. You want to bring them over so they can actually see Jamie? We need Ikea to pay us. Yeah. Hey, bring them on we over. We do. We love Ikea. What? Bring them over so they can see what I'm Oh, hold on. I'm bringing you in. Debbie says all her clothes are on the floor. So are ours, but we have no excuse. They can't see there, so you're going to have to like oh. give me an aerial view. Okay, can you guys see now? So all this, this has three bolts. There's two on the bottom and one that comes in over on the side. And I'm just going to get these started and then I'm going to screw them in tight. And that's... Deb, can you look at the camera and make sure it's filming correctly? Yeah, that's good. Okay. So just right here. And then that's it. That's three bolts on each side and that's your whole assembly and the feet. All right, you can... Pull out. So, so Zeb, was that as bad as you thought it was going to be? No. It's actually pretty convenient that it comes in boxes because if you don't have a trailer, you can go pick it up. Yeah. Um, Debbie's design. I was at Ikea for three hours. That place is so good and so bad. It is. You know what? Because it's so close to us, I never feel like I have to stay very long because I can always go back later. But sometimes I get stuck there. I have a problem with meandering. I like to go through all their set up rooms and see how they put them together because I want to build a tiny home and they're like, they're set up for tiny homes. When do you there. think I'm ever going to be a minimalist? I'm not worried about you. I'm going to build it for Oh, this me. is after I die? No. This is a side project. Are you getting sweaty? Yeah, it's hot in here. <laughs> I've been living this couch around. Don't bother me right now. I'm not sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing two sweaters. I got my outfit at Walmart, guys. If you haven't been there recently, check out their athletic wear. I'm, I'm kind of obsessed. I know, Walmart's totally. <laughs> I got this, like, here, since he's just screwing that in. I got this sweater. It's, like, super, super soft for $9. And then this, like, was 13 I think. And my leggings were 2 bucks. So, I'm so liking this, Walmart. The side screw that I'm putting in here... Holds the arm from collapsing out and holds the back up. It, the back that's on a hinge, it holds that up. So it's actually a pretty ingenious little design. It's almost like a crazy futon. Oh, Sandy says, ha ha, you rock. I like to go through all the rooms in Ikea, said my husband never. <laughs> <laughs> Zeb, Zeb, Zeb is like into... But I go through because I'm like, okay, that's how they built that. That's how they built this. I can do this better. I like how they did that. That's a good idea. That's what I do when I go through Ikea. 
And we like to sit on all the furniture and like open things. Because they, they're pretty, they're actually, I mean, sometimes they do use some, some inexpensive products so that they can get you a good price, but they're pretty ingenious with how they build some of their space saver stuff. For sure. And like, I'm not super in love with they're like pressed board stuff, but they make some solid, like my step stool is from Ikea and I've had it forever. It's solid wood. I think you just have to look for the good stuff. It's a little bit more expensive. Like my kitchen faucet was like $120 and there were definitely cheaper faucets on Amazon, but I really liked the design of this. And then I went to Ikea and I picked up the faucet. It was nice and heavy and solid. And so I went with that. The only problem with the Ikea faucet is it's one hole and we have three holes. So then I had to order a plate off of Amazon. Let's see what questions we have. All right, that side's on. If you want to angle them over to that side so they can watch me struggle getting that together. I've got one in my space not done and not selling, even though it's priced cheap. I've got to do something. I'm not sure what. A church pew, Jenny? You have one that's not selling? That's crazy because here in Utah, church pews are like the nectar of the gods. They're so hard to find. I think it's like regional, like certain areas like are they more popular? I don't even know. Like I paid a hundred dollars for my church pew and it was definitely in project condition. And I don't even know how I scored it for that cheap. Usually they're like $400. Zeb, Zeb does need to reinforce it. What are we doing? Angle the camera this way. All right. Sorry. I get to yakking and I forget. All right. There we go. That light right there is also from Ikea. <laughs> We buy a lot, but then we like couple it with vintage stuff like that. Where I have the pillows, I always get asked about that. It's actually an authentic vintage laundry cart. I think Pottery Barn has a knockoff, but oh, you can find them. Oh, show them our cool stools? Oh, I don't know. I'll show you the stools. If you can find the real ones, they're better made, and I love it for storing pillows. Okay, Zeb wants me to show you our stools. People keep asking where they can buy them, but they're actually... Oh, the cardboard box is in the way. That's Bye. all right. You guys can see them. Our stools are vintage. Um, they're from Weber State College, and they're from, like, the 50s, and I love them. I'm thinking about refinishing the seats because they're kind of orangey-yellow, um, and they need a little bit of tightening, but they're fun. They say physics. I think this one says, like, 29, and I love the patina on the bottom. So, yeah, I am obsessed with these stools, and I actually paid a good amount of money for them for used furniture. <laughs> But I liked it. But you sold your old stools. Yeah, I sold my old bar stools for the same price. Come down a little and go that way. Okay. That way? Down. Down. There you go, right there. That's where Zeb <laughs> wants the camera. Sorry, guys. I hope you're not getting sick. Um, and, but I did. I like to mix stuff up. I haven't gotten them yet, but I did order four new dining chairs from Walmart. They're like the farmhouse-style metal, and the seats are wood. So I'm hoping that it kind of ties into these... And they were cheap. They were like $120 for four seats. I thought that was pretty good. Your budget's blown, though. We're all out of money. No more new stuff. The table will no longer cover. The table cell will no longer cover the budget. But I sold the couch. <laughs> yeah. And I sold my bar stools, and that paid for this couch. And the, the table paid for those bar stools and the pew and some of the products we used. And then I'm going to refinish my dining chairs and sell those. And I think that'll cover the rest of my budget. Okay. And I'm not selling any of my old windows because they're my favorite. I actually picked up a new old window. If you guys have seen, we normally have like a, Our right there, there's like a window wall. wall there. It's all down because I'm making Zeb change up the layout. I put them up too high. She didn't like how the spacing, how high I had them. But I bought a, I bought a, I had four and I bought a fifth window. I, it's been bugging me. The four windows, I like things in odd numbers, so I'm glad I got the other ones. All right, I actually have two. The one in storage is curved and very cool. Nice. Oh. And she's shocked she can't sell for two ninety nine. Yeah, that's weird. Is farmhouse not as big in California? I hope not, because I really want to move to San Diego in a couple years and. Farmhouse is my life. I guess I could switch to beach farmhouse. <laughs> <laughs> I can do beach for days. It's still rustic. All the tables are half sand worn blasted. through and yeah, they Bleach. got sand I, in the cracks. Have you guys heard of bleaching wood? I follow this gal named Cotton Stem on Instagram and she just bleached some wood and it looked really cool. I thought I'd try it. Sweet Daisy says she loves Walmart. So does Lily loves Walmart. Walmart's hit and miss for me. I don't always enjoy 
the amount of people at Walmart. She always, always ends up with way more than she planned on. She doesn't, if she doesn't take a very specific list into Walmart, it's dangerous. Here's the problem with Walmart. You ready for it? Everything is so cheap. So I go in there and I'm like, oh, there's shoes for $5 and this jacket for $9. And these leggings for two dollars and i'm like oh it's i gotta get it because i don't come here i don't really go to walmart all that often so when i go there I like stock up and then a hundred dollars later i just keep her away from the pioneer woman section we're all right yeah but guess what i can order it online no. that's where i got 99 percent of my pioneer woman stuff hey debbie are you still on um did you did you get your pioneer woman stuff do you like it Lisa says, why do I want to move to San Diego? Is it my family in Utah? We have cousins here. We have a couple cousins here. Most of our family is actually in Arizona. Like 98% of them are in Arizona. So I grew up about an hour and a half south of San Diego in a town called Calexico. And I spent my summers in San Diego. So I have not family there, but I have a lot of friends that live in the area. And I love the beach. And I also love the year-round awesome weather. I do not like it really hot. And I do not like it really cold. So... That's where I want to live. All right, in. we are ready to flip this and put cushions on and slip covers. How long have we been live? I don't know how long we've how been. How long did that take me? All right, watch out. You're going to get. Oh, uh, 21 minutes. Hopefully, people learn something from this. It's really a simple. I think I. Well, maybe I could put it together. But so hopefully, hopefully, the arms are on straight. I didn't look at any directions. Well, why would you look at directions? Boom! Why would you need to look at directions? You are Zeb Ray. That doesn't mean much. <laughs> Okay, find that slip cover and figure out how that goes on here. Um, Tina, I don't have the chairs yet from Walmart. They are coming on Tuesday. But as soon as they come in, I don't know that I'll do an, a YouTube live. It depends on what we got going on. But if you follow me on Instagram, as soon as they come in, I'll have them on my Insta stories. And I can send you a link. I don't know if you're on Instagram, but I'm telling you, Insta stories, that's where it's at. All right, so I was a little nervous that this was going to be a really involved project putting a couch together, but it was six bolts. Six. What's going on? I can't read comments. Right. Did you touch it? Tina says she's going to Instagram. <laughs> you might wish you hadn't because I'm, over... I'm an over... How come you flipping this? I'm an overgrammer. I share a lot on Instagram. What? Hang on. Sorry, Zeb's fixing the phone so I can read comments. There you go. All right. <clears throat> oh. Sandy says she has to go, but she'll check back. Well, I think we're getting close to done. Did either of us go to BYU? She graduated in there in 1985. Nope. Nope. Neither of us went. We grew up in Arizona. We've only been up here about nine years now. Yeah, we need to fix those curtains. I'm noticing those curtains are wonky right there. Either. Um, No, actually, neither of us went to any university. That went to Yavapai College in Prescott. Zeb's actually really, really smart. Sure. He's very book smart. I get bored easily. <laughs> hey, those fluff right up as soon as you take I them out of the vacuum person. seal pack. Hey, why are we looking at the ceiling? Jane? I don't know why. Because I, I want to see your face. Here, you want to see the couch? There we go. Fluffy! There we go. The couch That's is coming together. That's what we're together. showing them is the couch. <laughs> These are letting out a satisfying hiss sound, like air escaping. Dennis wants to know if we will do a home tour once everything's in place. We absolutely will. I would say I give us Dennis. another. What was her name? Oh, sorry. Dennis is the husband. I don't remember what she said her name was. I'll have to scroll back through. But Mrs. Looney, we will have, we will have a home tour in like a week. Yeah, I'll have the table done, and then we'll be able to show you guys the chairs, too, once the table's done. Give us a week, we'll get the table done, we'll get our wall back up. What else do we need to do? So we've got the floor that we did, and I've got, I'll edit that video tomorrow. So tomorrow will be the floor video, Yeah. barring some huge catastrophe and I don't get to it. So but if you want to know how to refinish wood floors, we'll have that video up tomorrow. Yep, and then I'll probably do a two-part video on the table build. And Jamie's got some cool techniques that she's been figuring out with, uh, that she wants to try. So we got some fun stuff coming up. He's nice couch. So if you saw this in real life, this is all just batting. Like you can't just buy the couch. You have to buy a slip cover. I think the slip cover is probably going to be more difficult than. We'll the see. only problem is that all these cushions come off. So I'm going to have to like 
Right. Um, I think the slip cover ties on pretty tight because I didn't see oh. any of them moving around in the store. I'm sure hundreds of people sit on those every day. Oh, that's true. When we, if you watched our IKEA live, you saw us checking this couch out. And we also have a rug from IKEA that's the same rug that we had before, only it's brand new and doesn't have paint on it. That's going down. Basically, our house is all IKEA and, and then old stuff yeah. right now. Basically, everything we own is either IKEA or it's like vintage or antique. We don't have anything in between because we're cheap. So I buy old stuff and I fix it up, or I buy it at Ikea. Those are the things. I don't have a lot of money to spend on stuff. And our kids trash it anyways. Oh, so the cushions have separate pillows, Jamie. Oh, Deborah. How could I forget that? Deborah, that's my sister's name. We already talked about that. It's not Dennis, it's Deborah. I will okay. remember that. All right, Jamie, you're up. This is your, this how come I have, do I have a bonus? I feel like I have a bonus pillow. Oh. This is for, oh, the, oh, so they all have their own separate if you don't want the whole slip, slip cover on there, it looks like. No, you have to put the base on first and then the cushion. So all these cushions you just put on have to come off. Oh, I see. I don't do slip covers, guys. So. All right, guys, I'm going to put comments down because I've got I've to help. She's got she's to regulate I'll my... I'll come uh, back and read comments in a minute. So, okay, so I'll take the cushions off. Let's get the slip cover on. I told you we should have watched Liz Marie had a video on how this You know, you together. got a, are you smarter than a third grader or fifth grader? What is it? That show? Are we smarter than the Ikea? Are we smarter than couch? the Ikea couch slip cover? I don't know. I'm not, this is not my bag. Uh, yeah, this is right. Yep. This is the arm. Oh, it's got ties looks like so you can pull it back if you buy it in cream it's a lot cheaper than the white the cream well right now like a hundred and something dollars but i wanted white because i want to be able to bleach it and because i want to say i have a white couch with five children it's like a life life goal life goal okay so i think this has to pull down over farther <laughs> the next time you see us, you'll see that there's like the dark gray cover on it. <laughs> <laughs> the white one didn't work out. There we go. You just got to pull tight on the corner there. Oh, okay. Well, I already did on mine. Okay, now we're ready for cushions. Hold on, this arm's not in place. I well, like that was the, pretty painless. I like the little pleat over here. I wear a lot of makeup. I'm not going to be able to lay down on this. No, unless you get like the stuff that's a million dollars, which you're not allowed to have. Oh, the stuff that doesn't come off? Yeah. All right, so the, these, go, are these the Um. So look in cushions? the tag, I don't know. How do we know if they're it sealed or not? It wasn't really specific coming out of that bag that they were sealed in, so. I didn't get directions on the cushions. So how do we know? I think it's by size. Size? Okay. Well, these two are the same. I think. Well, and these ones, the bottom or the, the top, mm -hmm. have these cutouts for the top there. All right. So put that so one I'll on that do one. Those. I'm going to check comments while you do that. Okay. So, oh, I'm back. Uh, da -da -da -da. Are we going to have to iron the slip covers? So Lisa, here's the thing that I've heard. When you wash them, because I did a lot of research. I did, I did what I call blogger research because I know a lot of bloggers have this couch. So I went on Pinterest and, and Googled Ikea Ektor couch. And what they said was when you're washing it, when you take it out of the dryer, take it out like half wet and put it on your couch when it's half dry or half wet, however you want you look at it, and then let it finish drying on your couch and then you'll never have to iron it. And let's be realistic. Have you seen my curtains? I don't iron anything. If it's got wrinkles, it's okay because it's farmhouse. We just gotta zhuzh them up a little. A little zhuzhing. Oh, and Scotchgard. Oh yes, I should have picked some Scotchgard up at Walmart. Scotchgard is my friend. I had it on my last couch. It works pretty good. I feel like this one goes on this one. And with Trump tax bill, we will have to pinch every penny. Possibly. We got five kids. So we have a lot of tax write-offs. <laughs> Our whole life is a tax write-off. Um, somebody says, do I expect it to stay white for long? So this is not our main living area, even though the kitchen's off of here. 
We have a, a pretty, I wouldn't want to say giant, but we have a pretty big basement area that is actually, I can't decide if I want to tackle that next or the bathrooms. Probably it would make more sense to tackle that because it's used more often. But we have a big basement in the basement with a big TV and all the workout stuff. And then the kids each have like their own room. And then we have American Girl Law House down there. So they kind of have their own spaces. And this is more of like a, we get together and say prayer in here at night and one company comes. So the kids don't really hang out in here as much, except for Jack. And Jack's actually a pretty good little role follower. He's been drawing on the walls lately. He's having a little bit of three-year-old. The basement walls. <laughs> a little three-year-old re rebellion yeah. going on right now. Yeah, he, he does. But for the most part, like, it's funny because I think that he's kind of naughty. And then I get around other three-year-olds and I realize that Jack is way better and not breaking stuff. Like at Christmas time, those little globes that I had like on the island, he never touched them. He didn't touch the tree at all. He's pretty good. So we're just gonna have to make sure they don't eat on the couch. It's really the 15 year old. Yeah, he's he's the big mess. He's I mean, like he six foot one, 200 pounds and flops his body around like he's not a big person. He's kind of messy. Um, Deborah, we do have a tutorial on the board and batten. It, it's we did it what like a year and a half. Yeah, I actually, ago? if oh you watch eyes. the island video, I have a link to the board and batten in that video because it's really similar build. So when did we put the island up yesterday? Yeah, it was up so yesterday. So if you go to yesterday's video, watch the island. That's a little bit how the board and batten is done. But then there's a link in that video to the board and batten, and we have a tutorial on that. I think if you wanna, if you don't wanna watch the whole video, I shouldn't say this, you should watch the whole video, but I think it comes in around, it's after seven minutes that the link comes in. All right. We still have 79 people watching us. This is still very exciting. <laughs> I'm actually super excited. I've wanted this couch for a long time. We picked it up last night and she's like, can you just put it together? I had to go do some stuff with the youth for church and I'm like, no, I'm not gonna make it on tonight. <laughs> last night, so Zeb works with the teenage boys and last night they had an activity with the teenage boys and the teenage girls. He's essentially what you would call like a youth pastor, I guess, from other faiths. With our church, it's called Young Men's. And, um, he, they did chopped. And we did a chopped you, challenge. They did a chopped challenge where they gave him like weird ingredients. Here, I'm gonna flip this over so you guys can see him. He's pretty cute. All right, and were you a judge? Did you get to eat I everything? was a judge. I was a judge, so he got to eat all the, the stuff that they concocted. Okay, so I think, here, swap that cushion with this cover. Oh, okay. So we <laughs> it's feeling a, either that or it's that one over there that's hiding. It's feeling a little toy. Okay. I can't see any more comments, so maybe people aren't saying anything. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. That's all right. If you're commenting, if you're frozen commenting. frozen and that I... many people really aren't watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're commenting, I'm sorry if I'm not answering because I'm not seeing anything new. This has actually been harder than bolting it together. Yeah. Getting these covers on here. Okay, what? You want me to put this cover on it? I think it's smaller, yeah. We're both kind of tired. I wish it would say. It doesn't oh. say on the tag. Yeah, that would be helpful, right? If it right? said on the tag, seat cushion or... Pack. Like when we labeled the cabinet doors, labeling You them. know, when I went in their warehouse section to pick this up, it was super organized with their bays. I was this like, is oh, too right big. To okay, so that's the same size as the other what one. What about this cushion? That one might be the this smaller looks smaller. one. It's looking smaller. Smaller. So, I don't know if you guys saw this, these foam pieces that we're putting inside of the slip cover actually have a zipper that come off so you can take the foam completely out of it and watch, wash that cover too if you ever needed to. Oh, KS, if you just go to Facebook, type in Jamie Ray Vintage, and that's my business page, and PM me pictures on there. Um, Zeb did not build that church. He, if you, when you watch the tour, there's a bench in our entry, and he built that for our anniversary. The church pew is actually a vintage pew. It would have cost probably the same amount or more to build it than I paid for it, huh? Mm. I paid $100. Yeah, it's probably $100 in wood. It's, it's honestly with the front and the back about, the, or the seat and the back, about the same size as a table minus the legs yeah. as far as materials go. It's, it's big. Yeah, it is feeling homey with a couch and curtains. It was feeling a little... It was real echoey in here, our last yeah. sign off in the last video. I'm like, wow, that's some bad um, echo. We need to throw Brandy some wants to know, this is the Ektorp couch. So E-K-T-O-R-P, I'm probably totally not saying it right. And then we have the classic white um, slip cover. You have to buy a slip cover with them. They don't come with them, but then you just um, pick the one that you like. 
I actually like the light blue one too, but I'm going for this all white look. There's so a just... fun striped one. Yeah, oh, the floral's kind of cute. All right, we'll see you later. Um, okay, sure we're almost done here. Questions. You guys hang in there. We're, Hi, Maria. I'm hurrying. I'm trying to get the cushions on. Sorry, and I'm not very good at talking and cushioning. Yeah, this is definitely the right one. That's the right one. It's filling. Yeah. Okay, I only have one more cushion to do, and then we can let no, you guys go then, for the evening. Okay, so when we're done with this couch, we're going to take you on a little tour, show you the bench up close because we were asked to do that. I'll show you the faucet again, and then we'll be out of here. We haven't decided what wall we want to put this on. If we want to put it where the other couch was, or if we want to put it over here against this wall, or before we had our couch over up against the wood floor, like the back against the wood floor, and we might do that so I could build like a cool um, sofa table well, behind it. Well, if we it. put it against this wall over here, we could put two chairs over here. Yeah. We haven't decided yet. Zeb was like, why don't we just buy two couches, which is also an option, but I like the idea of a couch and two chairs. If I do a couch and two chairs, I'll have to well, sell they've got, If she sells that back. chair, it'll probably almost cover the cost of another couch. And if I clean it, the other chairs that they have there that she's looking at are almost Can as much as a couch. Uh, we're live on YouTube, Odelia. I didn't know. <laughs> hey, Odelia, what's up? <laughs> Whoops. Will I be changing the curtains? Nope, we just put those back up. I like the, the different layer right. and texture of them. Put your middle cushion in there. But I will have lots of throw pillows. The middle cushion. Where does this one go? Right here? Right in the middle. Bam. Okay. Looks like we got ourselves a couch. I'm gonna put it up against the curtains for now. Wait, don't sit on it. Well, you could like let me sit on it and it would be like a parade. Well, I don't want to rip these plastic legs off just yet. Okay. I haven't built new ones for it. Okay, this is bothering me. <laughs> what the heck did you, oh, there we go. There it is. All right, guys, couch done. Bam. And I'm a pretty tall guy and it hits me about the shoulders, but it's good for slouching. Hold on. It's good for slouching. I feel like... Although we have never purchased a couch that is long enough for me to lay flat on. You couldn't lay flat on the last couch? It was uh -uh. pretty big. Well, no. how big of a couch do you think we're going to buy? Well, it needs to be like seven feet long. Well, we need the... Well, don't push me <laughs> off. We need the ottoman. All right. All right, give them You want to see tour. my pew? I'm going to take the phone off. Sorry, it's a little shaky. All right. So... The dishes in the sink. Here's the pew. And this is the, oops, can you guys see that? Sorry, I, it's kind of hard. Zeb, can you look on your phone? Yeah, you're doing all right. You're, and you're then, pretty shaky, but. Oh, I'll try to hold this still. Two hands. Two hands. There's the pew. I guess if I do it that way, it's easier because then I can look at it. And it's kind of like a chippy, distressed white. I'll show you a little up close over here. Can you guys see that? Well, yeah, see how it's all chippy? So I put the DIY paint, and then I put the milk paint over the top, and it got nice and chippy. And if you want to buy that kind of paint, you can go to my website, jamierayvintage.com. All right, coming around. Oh, there's the dishes in the sink. We haven't cleaned it yet. There's the new faucet. I absolutely love it. That was from Ikea. And I think that's it. So Maria asked, it, yes, this area where the pew is is where the dining table will go once yeah, I get it Yeah, so built. that's our light. Oops, sorry, I bumped the dishwasher. That's our light, and then the dining table will go there, and then we'll have the Walmart chairs that are kind of metal and stuff. So this is how the couch is spelled. Oh, I don't know if that's inverted or backwards, but... Yeah. All right, we're starting to lose people, so we'll say goodnight. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We're really close to 25,000 subscribers, so we're really excited. Hope you enjoyed us putting together our couch. Um, make sure you hit that notifications button so you don't miss any of our videos, including our home tour, which will be up at the end of next week. Good night, guys. Good night.